If I was to be asked, what is my greatest advice to give you as a young man or young woman, it would be this message. People are not looking for you. They are looking for what you are carrying. And if you don't manifest what you are carrying, the world will ignore you. Because you exist doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Because you are on the planet doesn't mean that people are going to notice you. You can live an entire life and not be noticed by humanity. We can bury you in a cemetery and we would never know you were here except for that tombstone. And the reason is because most of the humans on earth live on earth but never manifest themselves. And so the most important goal in your life should be self-manifestation. Your gift will make room for you. Now, what is your gift? It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. Nobody asked you to go down here and study to be a dentist, and you ain't really good at that. Listen to me. All of you have this gift. Identify it. It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's what you should be doing. You're wasting your time pursuing your passion. The Bible does not mention passion. It mentions your gift. What are you gifted at and do that? Stop tripping. You can do that. You were brought to this planet, set here by a greater power to deliver something that we need. God created everything with gifts. In other words, you are a package sent to earth to deliver a gift to your generation. You are obligated to us. You owe me what you are carrying. Whatever you were created to become, you possess now. This is a divine principle. what's going on guys so today I am clearing doing my installation clearing today my goal is to clear the entire post by today it is 9 34 and I'm gonna do my darn just to make sure that I can clear everything today the crazy part about it is I the post that I'm clearing I've never really I've only been on here for photo shoots and trainings but I've never actually did anything significant on this post a lot of these places I'm going and I have to clear I've never done any business there so it should be just a simple stamp. The first place I'm stopping is uh, the PX, and I don't understand why you have to clear the PX, but okay. So I'm gonna clear the PX, and then from there, I am going to CIF. They said on the paper that I'm supposed to call to set up an appointment if you're PCS or ETS, but I call all day on Friday, nobody answered the phone. I call all this morning, it's supposedly opened at 0700, nobody answered, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull up on them boys, yeah, man, so. I'm clearing guys, so this thing is this thing is hitting home. It's coming to an end. My nine year run in the military is coming to an abrupt end. So, uh, yeah. Reflect the Ooh, of what's going on guys? So basically, we, we that, I got pretty much 80% of the clearing done. My, my goal was 100% as far as clearing Fort Myer, because I still have other places that I gotta clear on, on another day. But of course, like anything, there's always little 
loopholes or little things that they never tell you or give you to, you know, prepare you for so you can have the proper documentation to ensure that you're able to um, clear those areas. So that was one of those situations. So I got to send in some packet and then when they get the packet, then they're going to set up me an appointment and blah, 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 blah. So, so I, that, that's the only thing that stopped me. Everything else I got done. Um, the most, most notably and most important was turning in all my gear. It was an eventful day. Um, I got a lot done. So I am one step closer to almost being completely cleared. So I got a couple of, couple other things I need to do on a different post. Um, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. So Fort Belvoir is in um, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. So I can't think of what's the outlier town. I want to say it's Alexandria. It's the outlier town, but um i got two things because i went to medical there um and another thing i have to clear get my medical sheet cleared from them so that's basically how that's working and so i'll get that done to i don't know if i'm i don't know if i'm doing it tomorrow or wednesday probably wednesday so i'll get that one done wednesday and then i'll go to the pentagon i got a whole i just got emailed a checklist from AMVID, which is who I work for. AMVID stands for Army Multimedia and Visual Information Directorate. So they have their own little checklist that I have to check the block on. So the thing that I got to finish up is all in the same office. So it's not going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be quick. So, but yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't, there wasn't much to really film. I didn't want to film going into these offices. It's just going into offices, getting signatures. So it wasn't anything crazy. Um, so that's kind of how that whole situation um, went about. So I'm going to try to, you know, keep you guys and do more vlogs as I, you know, transition and do things. Um, my channel, I really don't do vlogs on my channel, but I'm going to start doing them just because uh, give you guys kind of inside look at, you know, how I'm transitioning from active duty military to the civilian lifestyle and some of the things that I am encountering and all that kind of stuff. So. Stay tuned for more vlogs. There'll still be informational videos. I still have some that I need to push out, but um, that's what's going to end up happening. So again, guys, if this is your first time watching the channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so you can be uh, notified when I post new content. Again, guys, thanks for 1,000 subs. We are there. I am, we are fastly, fastly, fastly approaching 1,100. But my next milestone <clears throat> is 5,000 subs. So tell a friend and tell a friend about the official Ricky Bowden if they have any questions about what it's like to be in the military. Also, if they are joining the military as a 25 victor, I have plenty of content on my channel that can um, inform them and, and give them an idea of what the job is like. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope. Left face dismissed.